The word fruit makes one think of an apple, banana, or a mango. However, in biology, the term fruit has a much broader meaning. It is a fertilized ovary with seeds. However, certain fruits are formed without fertilization of the ovary and are therefore seedless. Such fruits are called parthenocarpic fruits, such as seedless watermelon, banana and orange. Parthenocarpy can be a natural process or may be artificially induced. Once fertilization takes place in a flower, the ovary ripens to form the fruit and the ovules form the seeds. Typically, a fruit is made up of two parts, the pericarp and the seed. The pericarp is the fruit wall and it can be thick and fleshy as in mango or dry as in hazelnut. In the mango, the pericarp is differentiated into three distinct layers. The epicarp, which is the outermost layer or peel, the mesocarp, which is the thick, pulpy middle layer, and the endocarp, which is the innermost layer that directly surrounds the seed. Fruits such as mango and peach are also called droops. Droops are single-seeded fleshy fruits that develop from monocarpillary superior ovaries. Apart from the pericarp, the other part of a fruit is the seed. Based on the number of cotyledons, the seeds of flowering plants are classified as dicotyledonous and monocotyledonous. A seed with two cotyledons is called dicotyledonous and with a single cotyledon is called monocotyledonous. In a dicotyledonous seed, the outermost covering is the seed coat and is made up of two layers, the outer tester and the inner tegmen. The seed coat also has a scar on its surface called the hilum, which helps attach the seed to the fruit. Above the hilum is the micropyle, a small pore in the outer coat of the seed. It is through the micropyle that the pollen tube enters an ovule. Inside the seed coat lies the embryo, which comprises an embryonal axis and two cotyledons. At the two ends of the embryonal axis lie the plumule and the radical. The cotyledons are often fleshy and store reserve food materials. In some seeds, such as castor, the developing embryo is surrounded by a nutritive tissue called the endosperm, which stores food and helps the embryo grow. Seeds with endosperm are called endospermic. Whereas in seeds like mango, the endosperm is absent, such seeds are called non-endospermic. Like dicotyledonous seeds, the outermost covering of monocotyledonous seeds is also known as the seed coat. For example, the maize seed has a membranous seed coat that is usually fused with the fruit wall. Moreover, like dicotyledonous seeds, monocotyledonous seeds can be endospermic as in maize or non-endospermic as in cymodocea. The endosperm of maize is bulky and stores food, while the embryo is tiny and is placed in a grove at one end of the endosperm. The embryo is separated from the endosperm by a proteinous layer known as the aleurone layer and is made up of a single large shield-shaped cotyledon called the scutellum. The embryo also has a short axis with a plumule and a radical. The plumule is enclosed by a sheath called the coleoptil and the radical by a sheath called the coleoriza. Thus, 
Seeds are formed from the ovules and help in reproduction, while a fruit is formed from the ovary and is the characteristic feature of flowering plants.